Okay, we're going to join us with just a commentary. So we're going to check the video. This video is entitled Trying Dura Smelliest Fruit in the World Thai Fruit Tour. Of course, I've understood that the smell or the um, aroma of the Dura fruit is very, very strong. Now, of course, it says here the smell is fruit, but that doesn't mean it's the worst smell. It's just that it's a very strong smell in fruit. Of course, thank you very much for your question. Don't forget to like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to video. Don't forget, of course, leave a comment below. I will try my utmost best to react to it, of course. Thank you so very much. Let's go ahead. Let's see. Ooh, nice video setting. Donald Skin. Thailand. It's one of my favorite places in the world. I can imagine. Awesome. Wow. The food. And I'm gonna find them just off the beaten track. Wow. Donald's Thailand adventure. I, I will say tour. Yeah. Big four, mangosteen, rambutan, salak, and Duran. My safari <laughs> is taking me east to the wow. Chantaburi province. A Chantaburi. Paradise. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mangosteen. I think I've had a mangosteen, mangosteen the yeah, before. Four fruits. It's wow. pink green, but when it ripens, the skin oh, turns to gorgeous orange. deep purple. Oh, I said orange. Why is it on my brain? Sorry. The I want to see my room. Mmm. Ooh. Uh -huh. I, I've no, never seen that fruit. Mm. Wow. Goodness. I've never seen that fruit. Number three on the list. Rambutan. I got it. Wow. And if you notice, they've, they've the jury, all got almost famous, a similar skin. Wow. <laughs> it smells strong. <laughs> That is seriously fruity. I made a search of the big four and I got them all and had a big adventure wow. along the way. Awesome! Just by heading I can't wait to taste this, this, this fruit. Wow. What's with the long antenna in front of the, the... What is that? The, the long stuff in front of the... Um, that looks like an egg. What? My, my, my. Hi guys, Very I delicious looking fruit. Oh, he's gonna try all. Oh. I've come to a fruit farm, as you can see. I'm yeah. behind a whole pile of durian, which is wow. one of Asia's most prized <laughs> It's here, and we're gonna do a little bit of a tasting of all these beautiful exotic fruits. Wow. So we're gonna start off with the rambutan. Rambutan. First time I'm seeing this one. Just how hairy and spiky they are. So they're kind of tricky wow. to peel, but once you get your fingers in there, it's pretty easy to just. That looks so amazing. And they look at how bad like and prickly the skin looks on the outside, and look at how. Beautiful in looks on the inside. <sighs> looks so delicious. Is it sweet? Melon in texture. Huh? Really sweet. Oh, nice. Looks sweet. Really good. <laughs> Surprisingly good. You'd never think that was something so kind of sexy looking. <laughs> it wouldn't be hidden in there. That's what I'm saying. Very hairy looking. <laughs> hairy looking fruit. In fact, I really would, would never pick that off a tree. And I would agree. I would not. If you don't tell me, I would not. And I can deliver the information that yes, they are. Awesome. Really sweet. Really delicious. Okay. Next fruit. Now Ooh. this one. We're on the time. This one is what? Stock? Because I've been told salak? that they're called the snake skin fruit. Also Ooh. known as the salak. So I'm salak. Try and, uh, and peel it. They actually peel really easier. A little bit easier than the rambutan, I must what? admit. What? I think the rambutan looks like it's easier. Bit, so this one is more of a creamier color. Mm. Mm. And it do not look as juicy as the wow. rambutan. Is that it? That is a sucker punch of acidic sweetness. <laughs> it is really, really good. There's a seed in the middle, but it's soft. It's slightly softer than the rambutan. Really? Kind of custardy in texture. The rambutan looks that very so much it's like, it's softer. Like if you crossed a pineapple with an orange, and you get this super sweet acid. <laughs> really good. Nice. Board. Snake skin, my favorite so far. Okay. What? The, next one is the rambutan mango looks better. I had a mangutan is, before, um, to squeeze them so that but they it, kind of it had spoil. In like here, it, it wasn't good, so get I didn't really get to enjoy it. That all of that gorgeous awesome. fruit. And it's so strange, like something that's so intensely yeah. purple on the outside. It kind of looks like something you'd find in Pokemon or something like that. <laughs> yeah. <It reveals laughs> that is true. Just ghost twice. Little it looks like the rambutan also. So, but this one, I think, have like five pulps mm. in there. <laughs> if you get very those without the skin, without the seeds really inside, very um, delicious. Sweet as well, but it's kind of like if you had a satsuma crossed 
with a pineapple again. They're, they're, they're all in this kind of same family. Family, it looks sweet, that way, it looks that way. Acidic, and um, it's all about the texture. They're working it's hard behind in the background with the WD um, and fruit, of course. That's not what you want to hear about fruit, but that is absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. Um, yeah, really good. And now I have been holding on because the last one is the one that I've slightly said. Durian. Um, this is the durian fruit. And I keep saying the, durian the fruit. <laughs> durian. In Asia. Basically, wherever it's you go, heavy, you it's delicious. In hotels and subways where it says, and of uh, course, durian, like the durian mask, the mask so seen at Tom Moon Pretty Nine. Any public transport. And there's a good reason because what? right now the smell is intense. You can but bring it in public vehicles? And it's a delicacy over here. It's quite expensive to buy. Um, and as you can see behind me, there's quite a lot of them. I feel like what? it's a place to try some really good Asian fruit. Why? So that's I'm a lot. Take up a little bit of this durian. A little What's bit, he said. That's bulky. He said it's a, like it's a little, like little bit. Fillets. Inside that fruit, when you open it up, you can see these little fillets. Kind of, wow. They kind of look like chicken, yellow chicken fillets is what I would describe this them as. This looks so and they sit inside delicious. This really spiny, Do they make like fruit. smoothie if you um, it looks like it'll make like a texture. mean when ice cream or like a smoothie. Apart, you get uh, let me like know, of course. Yeah, it looks like, like you can make a nice favorite. smoothie with it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> the worst thing about a durian is the, <laughs> the, smell? the initial hit of that. Oh, <laughs> it's kind of like there's an oniony taste to durian when you first uh, put it in your mouth. Well, and then once you kind of get past that and the texture, which is mm. a little bit like rotting flesh, <laughs> You die. Oh my god, don't say like that. Sweet custardy flavor. <laughs> and that's why durian is so popular. It's not the rotting flesh or the garbage bin or any other stuff. <laughs> it's um, just awesome. It's definitely about that sweet custardy filling. Wow. The thing about this fruit is that it's probably not an everyday fruit, for, huh? especially for me, but it is a really great celebration fruit. And whenever I'm in Asia, I that always is true. That's what I understand. It. So, anyway, cheers to Coconut, you guys. of I course. Enjoyed, That's mine. Uh, I love coconut. Really gorgeous you have a lot of fruits in Thailand. A lot I have not even known about. I want to try this fruit right here. It's like the dragon there, fruit or something like really that. Ooh, it Rambo is all about having a little bit awesome. of confidence with the food when you travel. So Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave your comments course. in the box below. Letting me know yeah, which is your to favorite YouTube fruit. Channel, and course, let guys. me know, would you try this durian? I'm, Until then, I my think friends, I from really Thailand, would love to try the durian. Coming up on the next episode, I'm in Pattaya and Ryung to taste the best of Thai seafood. I'll be doing a spot of fishing and learning how Ooh, to make nice. some seriously great tom yum soup from the tom experts yum all soup. that and plenty of street food along the way street food thailand delicious food of course if you want to enjoy a main meal you have to visit thailand if you are a food junkie or you're about food and adventure you have to visit thailand of course don't forget so, subscribe subscribe to his of, um, youtube channel look, look quite interesting oh that looks um, like a, a, a look pair of otherwise you might come up with a description for them that it looks like a pair of i'm gonna take these apart <laughs> It does. <laughs> Guys, thank you for requesting. Don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel, of course. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to the video, don't forget to leave a comment below. I will try my utmost best to react to it. Of course, at the end of this video, which is like pretty soon, check out this awesome video of My Beautiful Country also. My country is very beautiful. We don't have as much fruits and vegetables as Thailand, but we've got quite a lot. And one day I'm hoping when everything's back to normal after we settle down in Dominica that I can start doing vlogs again and doing videos about the different food science in different places in Dominica for you guys to see. Of course, thank you so very much. Bye guys.